If you are trying to drastically improve your aim, accuracy, as well as gun skill, this is the video for you. Why not start off the year right with getting your aim right? We're gonna be going over the absolute best settings as well as some drills you guys can try right now that are gonna take your gameplay to the next level. If that sounds good to you, make sure you drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn those post notifications, and quickly let me know down in the comment section right now what sensitivity settings are you guys currently running? Maybe I can go ahead and convince you to check mine out. Let's get right into it. All right, first and foremost, let's go over the settings. The most important part at trying to drastically improve your aim as well as accuracy. As you guys can see here, I play with an Xbox Elite controller on PC, and I'm also running on the tactical button layout, which I recommend each and every last one of you to switch to immediately. This is gonna remap your crouch and prone buttons so you can get in and out of cover a lot easier and also perform a drop shot and still be able to aim down sight and be act, which is gonna definitely help you guys out at close ranges. Now again, these settings are gonna work no matter if you guys are playing on a regular Xbox, an Xbox Elite controller, a PS4, PS5, or maybe even a scuff like controller with paddles on the back. Now, you guys can also see here that I have vibration turned off. This is setting light to go ahead and shut off. It helps me out at long ranges. You guys might like it too turned off, but if you don't, it's not a big deal. Now, here's where things are going to get really important. I want you guys to turn down your sensitivity to a 4-4. Try it out when doing these drills. I can promise you, you're going to see an immediate improvement of your aim and accuracy. 4-4 is going to be the best when trying to abuse the aim assist and essentially have aimbot here in modern for two multiplayer now again for the ads sensitivity on multiplayer i have mine set on 0.75 this is how i am accurate at those longer ranges which i feel a lot of players are falling short let's go ahead and correct that going into new year we're gonna go ahead and reduce everything down to so like to play on a 7.7 telling you guys try out 44.75 it is absolutely incredible now all these other settings are going to be pretty much irrelevant when trying to go ahead and break down and use these drills now for the advanced setting you guys can see here my aim assist type is on default i put it on default for this video so you guys can see how overpowered this is without having to go ahead and run any more aim assist settings that might alter it you can play on precision focusing or black ops i play on default just so i can show how good this actually is and again everything else is going to be pretty much the same here i've not messed with any of the other settings under the controller tab again you guys can see amos's response curve this is actually on standard as well again it's going to work even better on linear or dynamic now i'm actually going to go over to the graphic setting and we're going to go over to the view you see i'm playing on 120 fov and the ads field of view is going to be set to affected do this if you are not running on at least an fov of 100 recommend you guys going ahead and bumping that up and play on affected you're going to see again a massive increase at your aim accuracy as well as gun skill and this video should definitely go ahead and help you guys out so without further ado let's go ahead and break down some of these drills and how you guys can become a human aim bot without any cheating all right let's go ahead and break down some drills and kind of showcase them in real time as you guys can see i am playing with my xbox lead controller on pc plug directly into the pc now, I recommend playing on a small to medium sized map with recruit bots and the radar on. Now, what you're gonna see me doing is making sure that my white crosshairs is at the center of the screen at all time. And you guys can see there, whenever I try to go ahead and challenge somebody, especially if there's more than one person on the screen like you just saw, I always go ahead and unzoom and zoom back in. That's essentially going to make sure that you can snap on the players a lot easier. And that's what is going to be called snapping. And also when the red dot at the center, that's going to be called centering. You guys can see whenever the red dot, or I should say the white dot, is at the center of the screen, you're going to be able to immediately lock on the flight right there. I'm doing absolutely no recoil control. Just making sure that I'm centering and snapping onto target and to target now if you guys are a little bit confused on what i mean by centering as well as snap aiming i seriously mean making sure that your white dot is going to be at the center of your screen this is going to be the most important part 
when mastering centering. It's going to make sure the aim assist is going to kick in tenfold and automatically drag whether it is your red dot, your blue dot, or your iron sight to the nearest target without you really having to do a thing. It doesn't matter if you guys are playing on default aim assist settings, black ops aim assist settings, it's going to work the same. Now, what I mean by snapping is quite literally quickly coming unzoomed and zooming back in when there are more than one target on your screen. So the aim assist essentially resets itself and locks on, literally locks on to the next player. That's why people think a lot of skilled players or above average players or honestly people who are taking out multiple people at the same time have some type of aim bot because the aim assist is seriously locking on to the nearest target after target after target instantaneously without the actual player having to really do anything. Boom, boom. Unzoom, zoom. Around this corner, boom, boom. You see how the aim assist just drags me on this player? Boom, boom. This is why you should definitely go ahead and jump into a private match to actually practice this and see it for yourself in real time. Boom. Two people here. Boom. Boom. It locks directly on. Like, that's how crazy the aim assist is. I'm doing absolutely no recoil control here. Just letting everything take care of itself. Letting the game work for me. Right there. Perfect example. You guys can see. Again, the white dot that's in the center of my screen, always make sure that is towards the center. And when you guys are actually trying to get into gunfights, you guys can see here, boom, boom. The aim assist is going to quite literally lock on the players for you. That is what I do in every single one of my gameplays. And a lot of people say that, are oh, you using aim, your aim bot, whatever. It's literally just abusing the aim assist and allowing the controller setting to take right there snap aim prime example as long as that white dot is going to be at the center you're going to be able to immediately lock on people boom boom you guys can see boom boom snap directly onto that player boom boom Turn the corner here. Boom. Super, super easy to do. Like I said, whenever I'm turning the corner, as long as that white dot is at the center, it is going to lock on to whoever you're trying to take out. Now, this is what you don't want to do. Say, for example, you're trying to go ahead and take out two people that are like kind of in the same area. You don't want to just go ahead and what a lot of people like to do is they try to drag the controller. You see how difficult it is to take this player out when you're actually trying to drag onto the person? What you want to do is, like I said, immediately unzoom and zoom back in if there are more than one person on your screen. As you can see, that right there is why centering as well as snap aiming is so important. I can guarantee you 99% of players would just simply try to drag, quite literally drag, their iron sight or their reticle from target to target and it's hard to do so especially if the player is running some type of submachine gun with speed attachments you simply have to quickly unzoom and zoom back in and it's going to automatically lock on to the next player I want to go ahead and put this in the video so you guys know this is what happens when you try to drag your crosshairs and i believe that's what a lot of people are unknowingly doing here in multiplayer I hope this video helped you guys out. It's always important to circle back and take a look at some of the best settings as well as some drills you guys can use to drastically improve your aim, accuracy, as well as gun skill here in multiplayer. Let me know down in the comment section right now what are some other things you're struggling with here in multiplayer so I can make a video to help you guys out. If you guys do enjoy, and if you end up taking a look at some of these settings, taking a look at some of these drills, applying them, and seeing an improvement, make sure you guys drop a like in the video. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll turn on those post notifications. Stay up to date with any and all best settings as well as class setups as well as tuning. And your boy ears, I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.